Okay, hi everybody. Um, this is going to be a short video on um, how to change your liveries on your airplanes and next plane. Now everybody knows how to do this, but there's a couple fellows that mentioned they're new to the game and they haven't figured it out, so they've been asking for a video. So I thought I'd throw this together. Um, first of all, to find a livery, all you got to do is open up your browser. I use Google. And type in your window here something something like Cessna 172 livery explain something along those lines anything like that to find a livery as long as you got the word livery in it hit enter and you get a whole bunch of them coming up here's this fellow here Cessna rocks liveries. He's got all these liveries you can download. I just downloaded this one. You pick any one of them. Here's a nice one. Download it. It can't be downloaded securely. See what that says. Keep. So let me download it. That's my issue. That's my antivirus warning. So then you can open this up and see. There's there's the livery right there, right in your zip file. And what you got to do is you got to go to your X plane. Um, now, if you don't have a Steam version, it would be probably in your C drive. C program times 86 X plane. So you, it's pretty simple to find. I got a Steam version, and I've got it on my D drive. So mine is D uh, Steam Steam Apps Common X Plane. And it'd be the same thing if you had it on your C drive. It'd be C Steam Steam Apps Common X Plane. And then when you go into X Plane, you go to your aircraft folder. So here's my X Plane 11. Here's my aircraft folder. Okay, now he's talking about the default 172. So you open up your aircraft folder. And here's all my payware aircraft. But all the default aircraft that comes with X Plane is in a folder called Laminar Research. Go down here to Laminar Research. And open up that folder. And here's all your default airplanes from Laminar. And I've got the 172, I've added a bush kit to it. But here's your stock 172. So you open up your 172 and you'll see a folder in here called liveries. Um, if you don't see a folder called liveries, it means you don't have any liveries. So you have to make a folder in here. You right click over here in an empty spot somewhere. Click on new. Click on folder. And there's a folder rename it liveries. That's all you got to do. Get rid of that. I don't need that. So you open up your liveries, open up your liveries folder, and those are all my airplane, all my different liveries I have for the 172. And I'm going to add this one, so I just left click on it, hold down the mouse button, drag it over in here, and let go, and it's added it. If you're not sure how to do that, that's just a shortcut I use. You can just click extract to and then you can pick this folder or you can extract it to your desktop and then move it over so it's in there that's how you get liveries for your aircraft okay i'll minimize that and i'll get rid of that so i got my game running already because my game has so much stuff in it it takes seven or eight minutes to load and i'm not going to make you sit here for seven or eight minutes so i've got it loaded already you go to new flight I'll make this big and there's the 172 there's the default 172 that I already pre-selected and if you move your arrow over it and let it sit for a second it'll tell you that's your 172 and this one here is my 172 with a GTN 750 and here's my 172 with a bush kit I think bush kit so this is what you want now all you got to do to select your liveries click on the word customize and then you can use your mouse wheel and you see all my different liveries 
this is all my liveries right here. So, as you go through the most wheel, you see, you can also select them up here. You can just click on here and click on old style and it'll take you right to it. Or you can scroll through it and look at it. So, I'm using my mouse wheel to scroll. So, I'll choose this one. And then you go back to your list. You see here it says back to list. And now you can see it's in there. Now, I'll right click start flight this 172 will appear on the runway or wherever I chose to have it appear with this paint job but the first time you put them into your folder when you launch it as soon as you launch it you might not see it you've got to come back into this list and when you open up customize you see a button here it's not here now but there will be a button here it says generate or regenerate icons. You gotta click that button and it'll reload all the plane will reappear on the runway and you'll see all the paint jobs being added to it. Yeah, I could take this one. As long as you got that airplane in between these two arrows, go back to the list. That's the paint job it'll have. So that's all there is to changing your liveries. So I hope this helps you guys. I'm not recording.